Kara Goldman is a medical doctor who's on the front lines of this COVID-19 uh, virus. And she wrote about her grandmother who was three years old in uh, 1918 during the Spanish flu and how there was a practice of putting a white garment or white scarf or hanky around the door. And when neighbors would go by, they would know that's not a home that you'd want to go into because the family had con uh, contacted with the, uh, some kind of uh, sickness in their home, perhaps the Spanish flu. As I read the article with interest, I noticed uh, a couple things that uh, jumped off my uh, off the page and that was uh, a help to me. First of all, symbols are often used to alert others. And we realized that uh, by searching the scriptures. We see in the book of John chapter three, when Jesus was speaking to Nicodemus and he said, and as Moses lifted the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the son of man be lifted up. Well, the people at the time didn't realize that Jesus was talking and predicting what would come true in just a few um, uh, months after that time period that Jesus Christ himself would be hung on the cross to die on the cross for all mankind. And what a symbol that is. Of course, it's seen almost in every uh, prescription bottle. Many times at your pharmacy, you'll see a brazen serpent wrapped around uh, Moses' rod. And on the rod, uh, it'll, it'll picture that there is going to be hope. And you remember from the story in the book of uh, Deuteronomy, it says that all those who would look, you would have a hymn that goes after that tone. Look and live, my brother, live. Look to Jesus now and live. Well, Miss, Miss Miller, as only a three-year-old, and along with her sister and her father and her mother, survived that Spanish flu. And uh, they had practiced uh, uh, the safe practices of that time in Chicago, of putting that white uh, scarf around the doorknob, and then uh, folks would not uh, be in contact with them. And um, many times uh, people would be able to survive because it was not uh, being spread. We realize that those symbols made an impact. I'd invite you to realize that you could make an impact even today. Recognizing what Jesus Christ has done for you, realizing that the, uh, the message is clear. There are many, many people who in this day and age will be looking for some peace. They'll be looking for something to be able to grab a hold of, some kind of a signal that this too will have an end. And I would invite you to realize with me that the answer is, of course, we, we take all the precautions that we can, try to be physically uh, fit and physically go forward, but realize that folks are struggling with other uh, matters in their life, and the most important one would be to make sure that they're ready for eternity. So this is a great time for us to be able to, through the telephone or maybe through a text message or uh, opportunity uh, to be com communicate to folks that the Lord Jesus Christ is capable of meeting that need and helping them. Won't you be a part of that help? Won't you be a part of representing what Jesus Christ would have? After all, we can see from history that these symbols uh, have made a difference for folks, uh, life-saving symbols. Let me share with you a symbol uh, that the, the, the scriptures tells us about there in John chapter three, that Jesus was going to die and that Jesus would certainly resurrect and Jesus would be the salvation. Nicodemus learned it and uh, I believe that his disciples learned it and we could share that truth today. I hope that this would be a blessing to you. It's Pastor Tim Jackson, Community Baptist. Any way that we can be of assistance to you, feel free to reach out to us and let us know God's blessings on you.